Good morning. We are going away today. I'm a little bit, oh, well, I'm a lot stressed about lots of things. Let me, let me start from the beginning of this. So, on the 4th of July, the government announced that we could do, uh, what's it called, overnight stays. You know me. I like a good overnight stay. As soon as that was announced, I was like, right, we're going away. Where can we go? What can we do? With having the foster children with me at the moment, I had to get permission off social services and parents and whatever. If someone would have said I couldn't go, oh my goodness. I don't even know what I would have done. But luckily, I got the permissions. Um, so I went on Airbnb and like I wasn't even bothered where particularly, just somewhere not too far away, just a bit of a drive that we can stay overnight, go for some different walks and like we're not going to particularly do it anything I don't even know in fact is everything open now I don't even know what is open because we're not doing anything <laughs> I don't even know what is open and what isn't open I kind of think more or less everything's open now but anyway I just need to get away to be honest and have a different set of four walls and go on some different walks than just around my local area and stuff and I found somewhere uh, in the Yorkshire Dales, it's not too far away from us, it's a reasonable drive, but it's not too far away, so we're going up to Yorkshire Dales for a few nights, and I'm very excited about it, but also just kind of stressed, like it's been a bit of a, well not a bit, quite a stressful week with lots of fostering stuff going on, that I did actually make a video about, and then it was just at this big ranty complainy video that I talked about far too much personal stuff and so I just scrapped that video but a lot of stuff has been going on with fostering Lara is she was supposed to be coming with us so it was me Lara my sister Stephen and the two foster children Lara has is unfortunately in hospital at the moment she's okay but um, she's in hospital so she isn't coming so but I didn't know whether she would be out or not out or whether we should postpone like not postpone I'd have to cancel and like, I didn't know what the whole deal was so it's been just a quite a stressful week to be honest and like literally this morning at half past eight I didn't know if we were going or not going I've decided that we are going to go so Lara's not coming um it's going to be me Stephen and the two foster children I'm trying to be like positive and look forward to it because it was something that I've like literally I've wanted to do this since March but it's just everything that's been going on in the last week has put a little bit of uh, a dampener on it and but hey that is life sometimes and let's try and be positive about it at least I get to go away and I'm not stuck in the hospital and can't go away <laughs> yet anywhere um but I just need to pack and so I, I have no idea what I need to take really I can't even you know when you just can't think straight it'll be fine once i'm get on packing it'll be all right it's more everything else like we did a big shop and like an internet shop to arrive on tuesday thinking obviously la was going to be here and everything and loads of foods come like loads of fresh food that i'm gonna have to take with me i think otherwise it's gonna go to waste i'm gonna have to like pack up the fridge basically and take the fridge with us um, like clothes and all that stuff, um, that's no problem sort of packing. It's more like equipment for the kids. There is a cot bed there, but I'll need to take another travel cot with me. I think I need to confirm what I need to take and equipment stuff for the children. Um, I don't know what the plan is. I think it's just we can only check in at four o'clock. It's now nine o'clock in the morning, so we'll just go kind of whenever you're ready i've got like a commitment uh later on this morning that i need to do for fostering and then after that we're free to kind of go whenever but if we can't check in till four the plan like initially was that if laura was here we were gonna like go up early and like do a walk around somewhere because it's like quite a nice day here i don't know that's a nice day where we're going but it's quite a nice day but that would have been the plan but now that she's not coming i'm just i just don't know to be honest I don't really know, um, but I'm just going to crack on and get organised with packing and getting stuff sorted and then maybe I'll look at what's, I don't know. It's kind of just thrown me to be honest, like Lara not coming, but on with the packing, let's get to it. Look, this is one of my biggest problems, all this fresh stuff that I've got in the fridge, I'm going to have to 
like obviously if Lara, I mean, there is too much, like Lara wouldn't have eaten all of this, but we'd have cooked slightly differently if Lara would have been here and we'd have got rid of some of this stuff more. Um, but all of these greens that we've got and all these like kale and spinach and all of this store is full of fruit, which I mean like apples and stuff, they'll last, they can, don't necessarily need to come with us, but there's just so much stuff. I've tried to put some things, like all the kale, I've tried to like shove it into my, <laughs> into my freezer and things, but as you can see, the freezer is pretty rammed full as well. I'm going to have to try and figure out what to take. Maybe if I take some of these pizzas out, I might take some pizzas with us actually to eat whilst we're there and then I can put some more of these greens in the freezer because the greens are using my smoothies and I'm not going to have my Vitamix there to make smoothies so don't necessarily want them. Let's figure this out. Maybe it's not going to work out too bad actually. We've got like some milk for the kids, lots of lettuce and greens and things, some pears back there that are starting to go bad anyway, bits of fruit and some cooked potatoes, some sprouts that I made, some frozen pizzas. In fact, actually now I'm thinking about it, I might take like some pasta and some sauces and maybe some bread and then we're kind of set for food because obviously we're going to need to eat over the weekend with like we were just staying in the cottage um we may get a takeout or something if there's somewhere around there i don't even know like how out in the wilderness we kind of are whether we're in like a little village i think we're in a little village but i don't really know um so actually to take our food with us would mean one less job when we get there so i think actually this is going to work out for the better i just need to pack all of this up i mean we will eat some of this before we leave but obviously I mean, there's four of us, but we're going in like a few hours. There's only like one meal for us all. But potentially, the strawberries and grapes and things. Make it eating before we go. And maybe I'll make myself a bit of a salad. But this will probably, this may work out good. We've got some pasta, some sauces, some bread. We've got food for the weekend. I've got some bananas that I can pack. I've got some uh, water kefir. I've just started making water kefir. And actually, it's pretty delicious. This is my first batch, I just added some blueberries in, but I think that they can. If you leave them out, they can like explode. So maybe I need to drink that before we go. And also sort out this little brewing stuff that's got like the kefir grains in. I've just poured myself my very first glass of my homemade water kefir and oh my goodness, as you can see, like it's blueberry flavor. It's absolutely delicious. There's lots of benefits to drinking water kefir. If you haven't looked into it, I would encourage you to do so. And it is so, so simple. Like I've tried to do kombucha in the past and failed miserably. But water kefir seems to be my jam. It works for me and that is so nice. As far as packing up the food is going, it's going quite well. I've got a bag here, another bag over here. I decided to whiz up some of the greens down here and just freeze them so i've whizzed them with some of the pears that were going off and just put them in there and then when we get back i can use them in smoothies my only concern is if lara does get discharged whilst we're away there's a lot of chaos going on in the freezer and I'm, i don't know whether she'll want freezer stuff or like she'll honestly like that's like it's all balanced really quite <laughs> finely and obviously she can't see it and she'll just come in and knock it all over but i mean We'll just have to see what happens with that. I'm going to move on to clothes, I think, now. Get my clothes and the two foster kiddos clothes sorted. Before I do, maybe I need to check the weather, actually. Mm, I don't know if this is really giving me any information other than, so, Saturday, Sunday. So, we're not due rain, but then potentially there is rain, but it's warm-ish. Okay, so, probably raincoats need to be taken. But it's not too, too cold but it's like jumper weather as opposed to coat weather. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's really answers any of my questions. I'll just pack whatever I choose to pack and we'll see. Hopefully it'll be all right. <laughs> Clothes are done for me and the two little ones. Clothes are never the difficult part as far as I'm concerned. I'm pretty basic, simple 
with clothes and so I'm not too bothered. I just have some pyjama bottoms, a couple of vest top things, a change of pants, a top. I may pack another one of each of those. I'll have a think about it. Like we're only going for three nights, are we going? Three nights. So possibly take another set of pants and top, but possibly not. I've got this like rain jacket thing that to be honest, I bought it for when we went to Singapore and it doesn't really do much in the way of keeping, like it's all right for a bit of spit and drizzle, but it doesn't do much for anything other than that. And then I've got underwear underneath there. I've got my toiletries, very simple. I've just got my oil for, I use oil as a face cream, my Haribo oil, deodorant, my shampoo and conditioner. I've just found these, I've been searching for a bar, a shampoo and conditioner bar for so, so long. And I've found these ones that I've been using for quite a few months now and I love them. This, this is like, oh crap, I was just gonna say this is the container that holds them both, but then it fell apart. There's my shampoo on. I've just finished my conditioner and had to start a new one. And uh, yeah, I'm loving them. They're from um, Ethique, the brand is. And then just a toothbrush, uh, razor and comb. And then obviously I've just got clothes for the kiddos and waterproofs and things. They will of course need like equipment and other bits, nappies and bottles, whatever that they need that I'll sort out. I may just make a little note of the things that I need to remember, like the drinks cup and things that they'll like, be using throughout the day before we leave. But um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty organised and sorted to be quite honest. All that stuff has fitted nicely into these packing cubes and oh my goodness if you're not on board with the whole packing cube thing as a way of packing I definitely would encourage you to do so. I've been using them for years and have used various different types over the years. I would say that my favourite now are these, like this person looks like they've hardly got anything. I think that possibly they have got slightly less but it's because it's in one of these compression uh, cubes where you've got like two zips and it compresses down to like literally nothing and I've also got like a double sided one so I've got like my clothes in one side and toiletries in another and they're just fantastic I love them over the years I've used them for so many different purposes like for right now obviously it's useful for separating out different people's things I've used them on layovers for like keeping one set of clothes and they're just they're just fantastic. They're just really good to squash everything down and keep stuff organised in your bag. In the description, there's a link to my Amazon store and I've been putting quite a few of my favourite things. Things that I could tell I've used all the time, things that I've used for years. I've been adding to my store. There is a link to some travel cubes that I use. There's various different sections. I think there's like a travel one, a tech one, a fostering one, um, kids babies and kids uh what else is there sustainable living just various different things that i use all the time i really like the product so i've made the amazon store so if you do want to go and check that out you can go ahead there is a link down below in the description it is an affiliate link just so you are aware if you do purchase anything i will receive a small very very small <laughs> portion but back to the packing there's not much else left to do i don't think but uh Kid stuff, find a cot, I think. I think I need to take an extra cot up in the loft. That's, that's a job maybe for when Stephen's awake. <laughs> right, so we're going up in the loft to try and get, what am I going up for? Travel cot. I don't even know if it's up here. I think it's up here. Stephen's up, he's gonna help me. Hopefully it's up here. I'm not, we had. Oh, Stephen's just getting me a torch so I can see something. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, that's it there. Stephen, are you down there? Yeah. If I... Oh. I'm going to have to get up and then pass it down to you. I hate it up here. Are you ready? It's quite heavy. You got it? Oh, thank you for your help. Oh, look at this photo, just randomly on the floor in the junk in the loft. The kids have just gone for a little afternoon nap. I'm just taking half an hour to relax, playing a little Animal Crossing probably, and um, then I'm gonna finish up everything. Everything's more or less packed at the door, ready to go. My plan is, me and Stephen had a bit of a chat, we're gonna go at, no, not four, three. I'm going to leave it at three, so we'll get the kiddos up at three. 
just before that I'll get everything organised, or me and Stephen or whatever will get everything organised in the car, get them up, get in the car and go. <laughs> to my phone you can probably tell because I was just picking up my camera to say we're all done in the car we're off and I dropped it I have done this a million times to this camera or not this particular one but the G7X I've had various ones over the numerous years and but if you drop it when the lens is out it like causes like a lens error and you sometimes like you have to pull the lens apart and stuff and Oh, I tried to fix it. I can't fix it right now. So we're just going to go and I will try and fix it when I'm there. I need to pack my tweezers though because quite often tweezers are needed for this job. But uh, yeah, we're in the car. We are off. We would have been bang on time. It's three minutes past two. No, it's not. It's two minutes past three. Um, we would have been on time if it wasn't for the camera. But we're off. <laughs> Camera's still not working. Let me just give you a very quick little tour. There's just a toilet sink, and actually there's a shower around the corner there. And then it's an adorable little place. We haven't actually gone upstairs yet, but the kitchen is here. Really nice. Got everything you need from the kitchen, the stairs, excuse all our <laughs> bump there, up the stairs there. Um, Behind here, there's a door that has got microwave, all sorts, to be honest. Wow, it's got scales. Oh, it has got a washing machine. We wouldn't be needing that. We had some instances on the way. Sickness ones. So <laughs> we need to wash some clothes. Fridge there. And then this door takes you through into the lounge. <laughs> Stephen's got the kids, so they're not in, in shop. Here's the table. And the lounge area, isn't it? Just an adorable little Yorkshire cottage. It's so nice. We're impressed, aren't we, Stephen? When Stephen says that he likes something, you know that it must Everywhere be quite we good. Go is so nice. Everywhere, yeah, it's to be honest. Those stairs are steep. I think we need some tea. Um, you stay down here whilst we just have a quick look upstairs. Whoa, look how steep the stairs are. Quick. Oh my goodness, they're steeper than Jane's. There's the view. It's such an adorable little village. It's called Bertaset. It's so cute. Stephen's favourite part of the whole Airbnb is this little welcome basket with some coffee, some tea, these, <laughs> and some crisps. That's really nice. It's a really nice touch when they do things like that. This is such a pain doing it on my phone. I absolutely hate vlogging on my phone. I just think it's so crap and it's just i just find it really difficult to do i'm super glad that we brought food with us because we are literally in the middle of nowhere there's nothing around whatsoever so i am just putting in pizzas for me and stephen and the kids i bought some um like mash and cheese and some bits of veg that the kids could have and i think our plan for the tonight like it's gotten quite late now by the time we've got i say quite late like it's quarter past six but our plan i think is to just eat tea and kind of go to well i'm not gonna go like the kids are gonna go to bed and yeah i don't know but let's get tea going at the side door in yeah pizzas are cooked kids are eating tea as well just over of that away being oh oh yes so i am oh i'm back on my camera i fixed it oh my goodness i'm so chuffed i packed yeah do you mind 
Sorry. Me and Stephen, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Me and Stephen, so kids are in bed and it's a glorious evening. Like, it's so nice outside. It's a bit bright. You can't really, you can't really tell. In fact, let me get up and show you. The sun's shining, like, right on us. So you can't really see, but, like, it's so, so nice. And I desperately want to be out on a lovely walk. But, unfortunately, with the little ones, we can't do that. So... We're sitting in. I can't believe I've fixed my camera. I'm so chuffed with myself <laughs> that I fixed it. I was like, I'd resigned myself. I'd even started looking to see if like, I could get one anywhere locally. Like, I don't even know where there's any shops around here anyway. And I was like, oh, I could order one off of Amazon and it maybe it would arrive tomorrow. I was looking at all sorts. Anyway, I thought, no, give it a bit, of, a bit more of a shot, see if you can fix it. And I fixed it. I don't even know what I did. I, well, I, I do. I pressed a button and Turned it off, took the battery out, put the battery back in and pressed, I don't know, anyway, it's working. Um, yeah, so because we can't go out for a nice walk, I say we, Stephen is probably happier. Are you happier, Stephen? Yeah, yeah Stephen's happier that we can't because he's a lazy ass. Uh, we're just chilling, watching a film. Watching <laughs>